Published 1008 EDT, the 29th of August 2017. Updated 1116 EDT, the 29th of August 2017. Pape Suare has completed a remarkable comeback to football following his horrific car crash last September. The left back turned out for Crystal Palace U23s against Nottingham Forest on Tuesday, the first game since breaking his thigh bone and jaw on the M4 in 2016. Suare looked in strong condition on pictures posted on Palace's Twitter, having worked tirelessly to make it back and was able to finally put the gruesome incident behind him. Pape Suare played one half for Crystal Palace U23s in the game against Nottingham Forest. The left back had previously feared he might never play football again after his injuries. This is the moment Suare was pulled from the the wreckage of his crashed car last year Hay played one half of action and almost marks his incredible return with a goal, powering a header inches wide of the target. The Senegal international previously feared he might never take to the pitch again and last December told BBC World Service I don't know if I can get back to football or not, the injury was very bad. I know I was very lucky. Suare had to be cut from the wreckage of his Mercedes and airlifted to hospital after the car ploughed into the central reservation of a stretch of the M4 motorway near Heathrow Airport. Suare has fought hard to make it back to fitness and will continue to improve. This photo shows how the roof of the Mercedes was cut from its rescuers to get to Suare. Initially, the injuries sustained in the accident were expected to keep Suare out of action for six months, but the recovery has been arduous for the 27 year old. After almost a year on the sidelines, it seems Suare is now fighting for a return to first-team football at Selhurst Park. No doubt Palace fans would love to see the crowd favourite back in action and boy their side who are struggling in the Premier League. The Crystal Palace fans have offered their support to Suare throughout his recovery.